Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Sunday. I hope the weekend has been pretty good for you. We have a video today talking about this Winter Wild Cards promo inside of FIFA 22 Ultimate Team because it is really starting to affect the market. Everything content-wise that we have had over these past couple weeks after Black Friday, we're used to seeing the market drop in December, but this promo right here is really accelerating that drop, and we really are in a market crash scenario right now with a lot of the prices that we are seeing on this game and even the drops that we've seen in the past couple of days, but moreover, the, the drops that we've seen in the past like two weeks. So I want to take a look at the market right now because we have some prices that have been dropping rapidly uh, in the uh, in the current times, right? Take a look at gold Mbappe, 1.09 million coins. This guy's under 1.1 mil. He was literally just a couple weeks ago, 1.4 million coins coming out of Black Friday when so many people had coins from opening packs, waiting to buy their teams. We saw big time market inflation. A lot of really meta cards went up. And now a lot of these cards are going down. I want to talk about why the market is crashing, what's caused it, and is it going to continue? Because I honestly think with this Winter Wild Cards promo being so good, with so much content rolling out every single day, so many things you can go and do, whether you're doing daily player SBCs, right? Uh, we, we've got icons that are now in packs with prime icons. We've got the, of course, the swaps objectives for Winter Wild Card swaps. Or if you're just using any of these insane cards, that are out as the promo team there's just a lot to do and a ton of great content right now in this game and that is definitely aiding in this market crashing at the moment i want to take a look at today on sunday with potential cards that we might are they going to do a mini release or are they not we don't really know there's a couple cards that we thought were going to be dropped like modric jonathan david those cards are not out so there's potential for a mini release since this is a two-week promo and mini releases have happened on Sundays before. I want to talk about prime icons again that have been added into packs. The daily SBC player that is leaked for today. And also, uh, the base mid pack is expiring today. And I would be very, very surprised if they did not release another icon upgrade pack today on Sunday. That seems to be like a Sunday type thing to do. So we're going to talk about all of that stuff in today's video. But first, let's take a look at this market crash, right? Because again, we've talked about this promo, how it's been such good content for all parts of the game. Whether you like to grind gameplay, you're running icon swaps, you're running the winter wildcard swaps through objectives and SBCs and, and getting those tokens and stacking those up for the rewards that will be coming out soon. Uh, I mean, if you do like SBCs, I mean, we had the Sal SBC yesterday, 4,000 upvotes, right? This card looks absolutely cracked. I know it's kind of hard to link him, but for these kind of stats on a card like this, 95,000 coins is ridiculous. That is two days straight of really good value SBCs with Zaha and now uh, Jabril Sal uh, as a midfielder in the Bundesliga, right? We talked about Mbabu in yesterday's video. We said, hey, if this Sal SBC is really good value, just like Zaha and Cornet, the links to Zaha, he's going to go up, right? And that's exactly what happened. This Mbabu card absolutely banged. So I think what you're really going to start to see is over this next week, people are going to start to invest in cards that link to these leaked SBC players because they're just going up in price because EA is doing everything in their power right now to kind of crash this market further with how they're running this promo. They're putting out insane SBCs that are making people sell cards to go do SBCs, and that is in turn dropping their coin totals on this game. And that's why this market really is cra crashing, and why that's why we're seeing these price drops in the here and now. Take a look at Mbappe, right? Again, literally just 12 days ago, Mbappe was 1.39 million coins. Just a, like literally a week and a half ago, now this card, especially in the last week, has dropped from 1.3 mil down to 1.1, dipping under 1.1, 740 on the Xbox. He's gone from 1.02 mil on the Xbox down to 740K. So really, really big drops. Now, again, why is this happening, right? It's mostly happening on like the meta gold cards, right? If you take a look at like gold Cristiano Ronaldo, 530,000 coins. Gold Conte is 200K. Gold Messi is 320,000 coins. He was uh, 460K just a couple weeks ago, right? Most of this market is what's headed down, but there's a lot of out of packs cards and just the whole market is really struggling to keep up in price at the moment because all of these brand new items are coming out and people are selling what they used to use 
to try out these brand new cards uh, and also do a lot of the SBCs that are coming out as well, right? Take a look at like Ruben Diaz. He was 350K. He's now 270. Llorente was like 650. He's now 560. Renato Sanchez was 900,000 coins. He's now 700K. To go along with some of these gold card drops, it's a lot of the out of pack specials as well. This whole market is just being devalued in terms of coins because of all the insane SBCs that have kind of come out since Black Friday, right? We've had the base mid pack. We've had loads of player SBCs, especially this week with the promise of more. And that is just draining all the coins out of this market uh, in, in a market that was very inflated, right? A market that was very inflated because people opened packs during Black Friday and they got a lot of coins. They put a lot of coins onto this game. And now we're seeing the other side of that effect, which happens almost every single year in December. Last year, the team of the group stage promo really sparked a market crash around icon swaps time again. Now this year we have the icon swaps, which is pulling people away from their normal grind of rivals and weekend league and weekend league qualification with their main team. And it's pulling them towards objectives, right? Where they can get icons and packs and icon up Upgrade packs, right? So that's pulling some of that gameplay demand away from people building their main squads and doing objectives, which is making prices drop on the market as well, alongside with everything that is insane about this Winter Wild Cards promo. I honestly think that these prices, uh, they're going to keep dropping, right? You've seen a lot of prices drop on the market, and I think it's going to continue. I do think that it is because as of right now, people are still talking about what is to come with the Team 2 of the winter wild cards promo there's leaks even started to circulate about how insane like the second week of this promo is going to be like during christmas right so uh with that kind of hanging out there and a lot of people you know seeing the daily sbcs and seeing seeing the winter wild card swaps at the moment i mean people are just in the mood to to try new cards because these brand new winter wild card items that are coming out as well they're, they're literally upping the power curve because these cards are so good. They have insane upgrades, skill move, weak foot. The pack weight is very high on them, so they're cheap. And that's really changing this game a lot. It really is. And that's why you're really seeing this market crash is because there's big time new alternative items that are on the game that people want to go out and use instead of the cards that they have been using for such a long time in this game already, uh, like some of the gold cards that we were talking about. So that's really why you're seeing this market crash. Now, again, a guy like Mbappe, he, if you take a look at his price right now, he's 1.1 million coins, dipping under 1.1 mil. That's a big undercut right there. If we take a look at his price from last year, how far did he drop off last year? How, how much can we realistically expect him to drop this year if we kind of base it off of last year, which is not the perfect picture, right? But it should give us some sort of general idea. Last year, Mbappe was about, again, or this year, he's 1.38. He's dropped down about 300,000 coins, right? Last year, Mbappe was also 1.3, 1.4 million in early December, and he dropped all the way down to 855K right before Saturday, uh, at the start of team of the year, right? So we literally dropped for a whole month in price going down every single week down into the under 900,000 coin range. Now Mbappe this year, in my opinion, his card is more OP and more popular and well-known and used even than last year's Mbappe card, if I'm being completely honest. This card was of course a beast last year, uh, but I think Neymar this year is like the best gold card in the game. And some people say this is the best card in the game regardless. So, you know, Mbappe this year probably is not gonna go to uh, the 800,000 coins that he did. I mean, I definitely though could see Mbappe pre-team of the year sometime in the next two to three to four weeks going down under a million coins. I really think that he could go under a million coins on PlayStation. I think another 10% drop on a lot of these meta cards on the market is absolutely possible. I mean, you think about the increased pack weight that we have had on these cards this year as well and how the whole market generally, Conte like last year would have been 500K or 400,000 coins at this point basically and he's 200K flat going down 150K. This card's almost halved in price since Black Friday. Almost halved in price since Black Friday. It's absolutely crazy. Um, and you know, this is even after he had the flashback SBC, which so many people did and still use uh, in their teams. I just think that th with the supply this year on the market as well, these cards getting packed so more heavily than they haven't ever in years past, I do think they are gonna see this market continue to fall out of packs cards and the impacts gold cards so that's just kind of an outlook for you guys now some items 
are going to have fluctuations because if they're alive cards like these numbers up items or um you know road to the knockouts which technically should not be they're not rising anymore based off of upgrades right because these cards are not getting upgraded anymore but some of these cards are even stupid expensive like finally frank de young is getting down to a price where he belongs 515k after still being way too expensive these cards are not upgrading anymore um, I saw these cards move when they released the the draw for the knockout rounds a couple weeks ago. Like Rodrigo went up in price after Real Madrid's initial draw. And then on the redraw, he went down. Uh, these cards are not affected anymore, right? These are literally just inform items, basically. No more upgrades to these cards. They've gotten all their upgrades. So, But again, in general, I do think you're going to see the market continue to drop over the next two to three to four weeks until we get to that team of the year time frame, which is again, like Black Friday, where people expect the market to pick up afterwards. So as we head through this week and with the winter wild cards promo, especially today on Sunday, right? Let's talk a little bit about today on Sunday. Um, if we have another base mid icon SBC today, I really just think that that's going to drop the market even further. You're going to see people selling cards to go out and do this SBC because right now SBC fodder is low. SBC fodder is still very, very cheap. Uh, if you take a look at some of the prices, 86s are still like 11, 12,000 coins. 88s are like six and a half, or sorry, not 88s. 85s are six and a half K. 88s are 23,000 coins a piece. You know, if they re if they re-release this SBC, you know, it's going to be only 360,000 coins to do again. This could drop the market like it did last week because that's a pretty affordable SBC. And they're still releasing daily literally daily player SBCs. We have Zaha and now Sal. Now, supposedly today's SBC on Sunday is going to be this guy, Mr. Pandev, a striker in the Serie A. Does not have the best links. Kind of a similar scenario to like Jabril Sal from yesterday. But like, look at this card, right? Supposedly he's four star, four star. Now, again, these are leaked stats. These are not confirmed. These stats could be incorrect, but so far the leaks for the players themselves have been spot on. So I would imagine this SPC is very cheap and that looks like a pretty interesting card. So uh, if that's like less than honestly, like 75,000 coins, that's gonna be a card that some people just go out and do because it looks cracked. So if we continue to have content like this, the good value stuff, that's just gonna pull this market down even lower. So that's kind of how I feel about the market at this stage. Now, I feel like if you have a team, I don't necessarily think you have to panic sell everything like some cards like Hakimi if you bought Hakimi last week for like 30,000 coins uh you know literally this past week 30,000 coins now he's 23k like at what price do you say okay I'm just gonna leave that in my team and not worry about it anymore because I can go out and make 20 or 30,000 coins trading in the next couple of days if I put my mind to it and you know make up that loss you know if if you think of it that way so I think the biggest drop-offs that you could continue to see in the next two to three weeks would still be on your out-of-pack special cards. Um, we're really watching the freeze ice or the versus ice cards because these guys are going to have that big compensation supply that is going to come in and has not dropped yet, but that's going to be soon. And once that happens, those prices, I think, are going to drop a decent amount. Uh, these versus fire cards are still pretty popular. Their prices are still up. Um... But, you know, Valverde 714, that is down. I, I think you're going to see these cards. Kunde 266, that is down. I think you still will see these kind of slide down with the rest of the market. So I guess that's just a bit of a warning. I think the market is going to drop down a little bit further in the next couple of weeks. So whatever that means for you, do you feel like you need to sell cards? Or if you just don't care and you want to hold them because the cards are so cheap already, that's kind of like a personal decision. But... Uh, that's just kind of my mindset and how I expect things to go over the next couple of weeks in this game since we are in an SBC based and uh, SBC focused promo at the moment. Now, speaking of winter wild cards again, today on Sunday, let's talk a little bit more. We mentioned the icon upgrade SBC that could potentially be coming. Um, there were a few cards that were leaked, right? Modric, Jonathan David, those were two of the big names that were a part of the initial promo drop that we did not see. Uh, now, of course, these guys do not have cards right now at the moment uh, for this promo, but we will be potentially seeing a mini release today. It's not guaranteed. It's not confirmed by any means, but if they were going to release a Modric, Jonathan David, or a, a, there's like one other card I think they have not released yet, then it would probably be today unless those cards are not actually going to come out at all. So keep an eye out for a mini release again today. Also keep out for that icon upgrade SBC and the Pandev 
SBC. It's just a, it's a combination of all of those things right now uh, that make this market very interesting. Now, tonight, I'm looking at a few of these cards again. Last night, these winter wild cards, they exploded, right? Pogba went from 1.55 mil all the way up to 1.7. Uh, right now, he is chilling in the low 1.3s, 1.3. 4.8 is what this Pogba was. You know, th these cards are very interesting to look at because they have a very high pack weight and a lot of the cheap ones are very cheap. But also you have a lot of cards in here that are very meta that so many people want to go out and try for their squads and try for their team. So like this Pogba dropping off as much as he's dropped off, I mean, it's kind of crazy to me that he's that he's sitting here at 1.35. If, if I could snag one of these at like close to 1.3, I might try to flip it into tomorrow on Sunday because, or today on Sunday, because that's just, that's a really low price. Fabinho yesterday went from 500,000 coins all the way up to like 600, almost 700,000 coins. I believe right now he is again in that low 500 range. We've got squad battle rewards today, which I do think is going to bring some supply to the market. So I'd be very careful if you're trying to trade with these cards, you're going to have a bit of supply through squad battles because a lot of people did play that game mode this last week with the icon swap objectives out there. So there's going to be a little bit extra supply than normal, in my opinion, on some of these cards. But again, you think about a, a guy like Paul Pugba. I mean, how many people are actually going to pack a Paul Pugba from squad battle rewards, right? Probably not that many. So that's why we're keeping a close eye on a few of these cards for a potential rise into today on Sunday. And they're just, they're just that popular that, that people want to try them out and people want to put them into their team. So we're going to keep an eye on that. Also, we had some the first batch, technically, the first batch of the Prime Icons added to the game. Now, I've been watching a few of these prices. I haven't bought any or sold any. Um, but as you can see, they, these guys move a ton, right? Stoichkov was 2 million coins. Now he's got a bid at 1.5. This Baggio, right? You have a million coins. Open bid there. I saw him sell for 1.1. So trading with these cards right now, I like... Man, Javi, 1.28, I thought that was pretty cheap. I thought that this Balak at like 1.35, I feel like this is even kind of cheap for a day one price. These cards are going to be, you know, kind of crazy fluctuators on the market since they're very, very rare. Uh, Rooney, I watched Rooney sell at 2.5 mil. Right now he's sitting at 2 mil. These cards are going to be very expensive early on. I do think they're going to drop off more, um, you know, as they're in packs longer, as they get supplied some more. But that does not mean that if you want to take some risk and trade with a few of these cards, you're going to be able to make some good flips on them. You really are going to be able to flip them and make profits because they're just very rare. And people want to get their hands on them and try them out, right? This Roberto Carlos selling at 2.35 mil for the Prime Carlos card. This Zidane selling at 11.4 mil for his new Prime item. So again, if you did not see it, it's on a loading screen right now too. But these are some of the icons right now that have primes out and available in the game. It's, it's definitely not every single one. Uh, as you can see, it's it says it's batch one, right? We don't have Ronaldinho in here. We don't have Rude Hullet. We don't have Maradona. So there's definitely some cards in here that are not included as prime icons that will drop later on. Um, but if you're on like companion app and the web app as well, I believe you can't search for them. So what I've been doing is going icons, chemistry style, basic minimum by now, like 400,000 coins. So if you're having trouble, like search these, uh, searching these from your app, since there's a lot of lightning rounds and a lot of people are packing these icons for the first time, you can search them under the, the basic filter. And you can see here, right? We have an Essien 3.4 mil for Essien. Nah, he's actually 2.8, right? Or Eusebio, Eusebio prime 9.5 million coins. Um, over Mars Prime, 650K. He's an icon swap, so that's kind of interesting. Rui Costa's Prime card, Bergkamp's Prime card. So if you're having some issues searching for these items, Maldini, 6 mil, 5.9. Wow, that's kind of crazy. Zambrata. So that's kind of how you can do that. But these cards, honestly, if you want to risk it, it's a big time risk with these since they're very rare. But people are probably going to wake up today on Sunday and try a few of these cards out, right? That's why I'm at least tempted to maybe try to flip one of these as you know, there is going to be some lightning rounds most likely, but um, you, you'll probably, if you find the right card and you, you find the ones that are the most hyped and the ones that are the most popular that people want to try out, like this Javi card looks so much better than his other versions. So this one sitting here at like one, three, two, if somebody would listen at 1.2 mil, I'm pretty sure I've seen, I've seen Javi sell at one, two, eight. I would get very interested, you know, at like a 1.2 mil on that card. Stoichkov, I believe 
He's like one a bit at 1.5, 1.9 flat on that listing. So if I saw like a 1.6 on Stoichkov, I'd get I get interested. You know, it's all about finding an undercut on somebody who packs a card and is like, man, how much is this worth right now on the market? How much can I undercut to actually get the sale? So that's kind of influencing icons a lot. The market's moving a lot on those. But if you're not really wanting to get really risky, just be careful with that. Now, some of your baby icons did rise up. I think some of these rises on these base icons, though, were a bit premature. I do think they're a bit premature because some people just saw that the cards went out of packs. So they literally just went to the market and bought some of those icons right away. And I just don't think that's a smart move because there's a lot of stuff to happen on the market still like this week and into next week before I would really you know, say, okay, maybe it's a good time to buy some base icons for your team. I really don't think that's going to be a specific buy time on those cards until we get more towards the team of the year time frame, which we are still about a month away from team of the year, it seems, right? So that's kind of my thoughts and my opinion on the uh, base icons at the moment that have gone out of packs. So just some added thoughts in there. Uh, but yeah, today's going to be a very interesting Sunday. These winter wild card items, um, whether we get a mini release today or not, since there is continual insane SBC content planned for later on this week, I would be very careful with these cards. I would not be holding them long term if you're going to try to flip, try to trade with any of these items. Make sure it's a quick flip. Make sure it's a short trade. And if you have any of them in your team for this weekend as well, Make sure it's a, you're not holding on to them for too long because I do think that these cards, uh, since they do have a high pack weight, they're going to get packed throughout this week. We're going to have more SBCs uh, and stuff like that. And it sounds like we're going to have an insane team two of this promo as well. So I would just be very careful holding on to these cards, especially since they're so early into their time being in packs. I feel like there's more supply coming later on this week in this game so that's kind of the video for today boys again i know we talked about like the market and the market crash and stuff at the beginning it's it's a legit market crash it just it just hasn't got the publicity of a legit market crash right away because the crash wasn't like an insane one day drop it's kind of just been the past couple of days stuff has really started to down drop down in price uh just due to people focusing on other areas than just their team and um there's icon swaps and all the other avenues of gameplay and uh, things in this game right now that can take your attention. People are focusing on that sort of stuff and not necessarily uh, buying the best team possible that they could buy for a weekend league type of thing. Wow, this Campbell was 700K and now he's listed at 1 mil, right? Crazy. That's how these icons fluctuate. They go up and down crazy amounts in price and that can create potential for some big time flips. So I do think the market's gonna continue to drop down though. I really do think that it will. That it will. Um, and that's just honestly, because a lot of people are excited about all these SPCs that are coming out and the content is so good on this game. And if people are losing coins, they gotta sell some cards to go get involved with SPCs. So that's my thoughts on the current market. I'm hoping we get a mini release today. I wanna see that Modric, I really do. And uh, hopefully the Pandev SBC. And I do think that we might get another icon upgrade today. So keep an eye out for that. That could be a big day of Sunday content if you have a 22. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.